St. Albert Public Library presents The 1 to 6 Storytime Mix 1, 2, a song for me and you. Our rhyme is called Hop Like a Bunny. Can we all stand up and we can do the actions together? Our hands are going to start right here like little bunny paws. It goes like this. Can you hop, hop, hop like a bunny? Can you run, run, run like a dog? Can you walk real slow like an elephant? Can you leap, leap, leap like a frog? Can you swim, swim, swim like a goldfish? Can you fly, fly, fly like a bird? Can we all sit down in our places and not say a single word? Awesome job, everybody. Can we all stand up and we'll do it again? Do you have your bunny paws ready? Can you hop, hop, hop like a bunny? Can you run, run, run like a dog? Can you walk real slow like an elephant? Can you leap, leap, leap like a frog? Can you swim, swim, swim like a goldfish? Can you fly, fly, fly like a bird? Can we all sit down in our places and not say a single word? Wonderful job. Let's do that once more all together. We'll stand up and get our bunny paws ready. Can you hop? hop hop like a bunny can you run 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 like a dog can you walk real slow like an elephant can you leap 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 like a frog can you swim 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 like a goldfish can you fly 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 like a bird can we all sit down in our places and not say a single word. Great job, everybody. Three, four, a story to explore. Today, our story is called The Best Pet Show Ever. And it starts one sunny Saturday morning on Elm Street when all the kids decide that they are going to have a pet show. They asked Mrs. McGill, who owns the ice cream shop, if she would be the judge. And Mrs. McGill said that this sounds like a great idea and she'd love to be the judge. And she even said that whoever the winner is could have one of her famous ice cream sundaes. Now, Mrs. McGill's ice cream sundaes were the best kind of ice cream sundaes with three different ice cream types and all the toppings. Now, the kids were really excited to hear this and they decided that their pet show would happen at this park right here. And they would start at 12 o'clock. So all the kids ran home to get their pets. That is, everyone except for Sarah. You see, Sarah had just moved to Elm Street last week and she didn't have a pet. But she decided that she needed to go and find one. So she set off towards the park and when she got there, she walked down the hill, and when she got to the bottom, she saw the perfect pet. There in the grass was a little white bunny with two long ears, and she chased after it. And the bunny went this way, and the bunny went that way. But the bunny disappeared into a big field. Well, Sarah didn't give up, and in fact, she kept walking. She walked this way. And she walked that way all the way up here. And when she got up there, she saw the perfect pet. There in the field, she saw a tiny little gopher. And so she chased that gopher. She chased it this way all the way to its little hole where it snuck inside. Drat, Sarah couldn't catch the gopher. But that's okay because she kept walking. She walked up this hill all the way 
way to this pond. And when she got to the pond, she saw the perfect pet sitting in the middle. Right in the middle of this pond, there was a big old turtle. But that big old turtle, he took one look at Sarah and dove deep underwater. Now, Sarah was getting a little bit discouraged, and she sat right beside the bank of the pond, and she thought. Hmm. While she was thinking, she heard a noise. It went like this. She looked around, and there on the other side of the pond, she saw the perfect pet. So Sarah got up, but this time she didn't run. And this time she didn't jump. This time she walked slowly and quietly around the pond. And when she got to the other side, <gasps> gotcha. She found the perfect pet. So while Sarah was catching her pet, there was lots of cats and dogs who were arriving at the park. Right over here, we have Tilly, the sheep dog, who's so big, he's twice as big as his owner. And over here, we have a golden retriever named Daisy, who loves to play fetch. And beside Daisy, we have a poodle named Jazzy, who makes a whole lot of noise. And beside Jazzy, we have our last puppy. Her name is Spot. Now, as you can see, we have lots of dogs here, but there's lots of cats too. Over here, we have Shadow, and Shadow is a big black cat. And beside Shadow is a pretty Persian kitten named Princess, and Princess has a brand new bow in her hair. And beside Princess is our last kitty, and her name is Calico. All right, well, it looks like all the cats and dogs are here, so Mrs. McGill asks everyone to line up right here in the middle of the park. And she's just about to start the pet contest when they hear a voice. Wait for me, called Sarah, as she ran down the hill all the way to the park. Phew! She got there, but as she skidded to a stop, she fell. And she fell right in front of Mrs. McGill. And her new pet went flying right in the middle of all the other pets. Well, all those pets and all those kids scattered. They ran this way, and they ran this way, and they ran that way. Until the only people left were Sarah, Mrs. McGill and Sarah's new pet. Do you know what Sarah's pet was? You're right, it was a bullfrog. And this wasn't just any bullfrog. This was the biggest, best bullfrog in the entire world. But Sarah's bullfrog, well, it didn't stay at the park. Instead, it hopped all the way up the hill and landed back in its pond where it belongs. Now, Mrs. McGill was a little bit relieved that she didn't have to pick between all these beautiful animals. And instead, she told all the kids that they could come to her ice cream shop for a free ice cream cone that afternoon. Well, that afternoon when all the kids were at the ice cream shop eating their ice cream cones, they talked about how great the day was. But no one was happier than Sarah because she had finally made some new friends. Five, six, that's the end of our mix. See you next time.